Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our first progress presentation for our projects. And uh, today we are just going to have uh, two groups that we'll be presenting. So for those people who are watching on YouTube and those who are on Zoom, so kindly follow us. And uh, if there is any question, note them down. You can leave in the comment section. But at the same time, you can also ask live questions here. So remember, our presentation today is uh, to enable you to improve on your work because uh, this is the final final project that we are we are preparing. And uh, of course, in as much as we, we, we are not so much concerned about the score, you also want to perform well because these are two units for your course. So for today, just a small guide is that whatever you are presenting, it might be a little bit different from the presentation that we have been having that you do to the panel, because that one you do for examination purposes. But uh, as for today, Whatever we are doing is a progress. We, want, we really want to see where you are. So you might be having some information that you have been able to compile in the PowerPoint, which I highly prefer. But if you have some raw information that you feel they can help us understand where you are, and they are in Excel or they are, they, they, they are in Word, you can also show us, you can share your screen so that uh, we, can, we can see where, we, where you are, uh, what is the stage at which you are, you are. I hope you are not stuck. And if you are stuck, we can see whether you can be able to help you uh, improve on your work. At the same time, don't also give us so raw data that you might not be understand. Because sometimes eh, the way we are working, our, our, our background working might be so cluttered. Yeah. So if I start showing you the, the, the manual, the, the way I'm recording, my, well, I call them data sheets, the one that I correct data in the lab, eh, you might not be understand. So in as much as I'm saying that you can show us the raw data, again, don't show us something that will cause more confusion. Eh? All right. And today we have two groups. We have the one uh, by Mohammed, and I believe we have uh, the second group. Uh, the second group is by Kidavi and Kimeli. So we start with Mohammed. So Mohammed, if you are ready, you can start with your presentation. Uh, Kimeli. Okay, welcome, welcome, start. Yes. Okay, thank you. You can show your video. Okay, good morning. Mm, you can show your video. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Is it visible? Yes, we can see you now. Go on, proceed. Yes, my name is it. Okay, okay. Okay, my name is Isaac Fesul Mohamed, and my colleague is Mohamed Mahmoud Omar. And our project title is Performance of Recycled Concrete Fine Aggregate as a Field Material for Pavement Subgrade. And our supervisor is Dr. Gadimba. So these are the contents of our presentation of our presentation for, for today. So on to our background information. So the road is an essential tool for Kenya to be able to achieve is Vision 2030 Development Plan. So the construction of roads will facilitate the movement of goods and people from one location to another in a timely manner and overcome the, and, and overcome the friction of geographical space efficiently. So the roads are constructed in four different layers. layers. So the subgrade layer, the subbase layer, the base layer, and finally, the surface layer. So on our, on our right-hand side, you can see a cross-section of the road. So the black cotton soil is found abundantly in most regions of Kenya. It is therefore used in highway construction as a field, as a material for subgrade and subbase layer. It is inorganic expansive soil characterized by high plasticity index, low bearing capacity, high compressibility, shrinkage and soiling. So the shrinkage and soiling process causes the vertical movement to take place in the soil masses, in the soil mass. So according to the standard specification of the RPM, the plasticity index should be less than 25%. The CBR should range between eight and 15% and the soil should be less than 2%. So due to this limitation, its engineering properties are increased through replacing, blending, or stabilization. Stabilization. So as a result of the high cost of stabilizing material, for example, lime, it is therefore recommended to blend or replace using the green material, for example, recycled concrete fine aggregate. So after demolition of all roads and buildings, the removed concrete is often considered worthless and disposed of as demolition waste. So by collecting the used concrete and breaking it up, the cycle fine concrete aggregate is created. So the reason for increased concrete volume wasted are one. So there's, there's an increased demolition of structure, which has exceeded the economic life, right, like on our right-hand side. And secondly, there's also a high demand for new structures, which are better in terms of 
capacity and aesthetics. For our problem statement, civil engineers are faced with a practical problem raised by the use of black cotton soil as a construction material for subgrade, uh, uh, for subgrade construction. And um, thus it leads uh, to use of uh, stabilizing materials, which are expensive, which are very expensive. And this leads to the high cost of constructing roads, which has continually been increasing. There is an increase of environmental pollution caused by demolition waste. Uh, and the use of chemically manufactured stabilizers. Also sources of subgrade materials such as query pits are dwindling, exploiting them over the years have contributed to pollution and destruction of the environment in an aesthetic sense. For a problem justification, infrastructure is a key tool for the country to be able to achieve its mission 2030 development plan. Increased demand for the transport network to be created in previously remote areas to spy economic growth. Also, there's, there has been an over-independence on the utilization of industrially manufactured soil improving additives, for example, lime and cement, uh, which has consequently kept the cost of construction uh, construction of stabilized crops financially high. Also, there's been an increase of environmental pollution caused by demolition waste. For objectives, the overall objectives for this research is to evaluate the effectiveness of using recycled concrete fine aggregate as a field material for pavement upgrade. And the specific objectives are, number one, to compare the physical and mechanical properties of black cotton soil and recycled concrete fine aggregate. Number two, to determine the optimal recycled concrete fine aggregate content required to achieve that engineering properties of a, of a road subgrade and also to compare the recycled concrete fine aggregate stabilized with black cotton soil and cement stabilized with black cotton soil. For our scope and limitation, the study narrows down to laboratory tests to determine the stability of recycled concrete fine aggregate and strength and index properties for subgrade purposes. The main limitations of this study is the is the the, the inavailability of doing the in situ tests. Also for our literature review, for example, we have a, a, a title, uh, title uh, use of recycled aggregates in granular subbase by Pavin and Dr. Pravin. They found that uh, the, the, it, found, it was found to fulfill the requirement of gradation and the maximum dry density and the CBR values of the granular subbase uh, with selected material was found to be 35 to 46%. The main gap that came from this research was uh, the use of fine aggregates for subgrade construction and need for further tests as per the road design manual. As you can see, we have other literatures done by other researchers. Um, and the summary of the findings from the literature reviewed is evident that the research have been done on the use of recycled concrete with major concentrations being on the use, being on the um, on using the same for subbase and reuse for the production of concrete for buildings with limited research for the use of the same on flexible pavements and tests conducted uh, on its applicability for subgrade as per the road design manual in Kenya, thus resulting in a research gap that became the basis of this project as per the objective stated in the previous slides. So onto our methodology. So the first part, we are going to check the physical properties of the black cotton soil. Here, the tests to be carried out are the plasticity index, the bearing capacity, shrinkage, and soiling. Then we are going to test the mechanical properties of the recycled concrete fine, aggreg and recycled concrete fine ag aggregate. The tests to be carried out are the specific gravity, the sieve analysis, atabag limit test, CBR, and soil test. Then we are going to, uh, to use different ratios and, and mix with them and check with them using the RDM. So we are going to mix the, uh, the recycled concrete fine aggregate and the black cotton soil, and also check using the cement stabilization with the black cotton soil. And finally, we're going to do the analysis and comparisons. So the first test we conducted was the moisture content of the neat black cotton soil, 100% black cotton soil. And we found that the moisture content was 14.49%. Secondly, we conducted the moisture content of the neat recycled concrete fine aggregate and found the moisture content to be 10.5%. Percent. And thirdly, we conducted the specific gravity of neat black cotton soil, and uh, we also found that to be 2.35% percent, uh, two point three five specific gravity. And also we did the specific gravity of neat recycled concrete fine aggregate and found to be 2.05%. And we also did the Atabag limit test for recycled concrete fine aggregate, and uh, we used the <coughs> sieve five millimeters, and uh, this was the this was the chart we, which was obtained. 
we couldn't call, we couldn't do the the specific the sieve analysis for this uh, for research, uh, for black cotton soil so we had to do for the hydrometer test and we're going to wait for one week to obtain our results so we went to do the atabag limit test and we did for the neat black cotton soil and the these were the figures which were obtained the results the liquid limit was 66 percent plasticity limit was 44 percent plasticity index obtained calculated from the liquid limit and plastic plastic limit it was 22 percent and the linear shrinkage was nine percent so for we also conducted the most compaction test the mdd for black cotton soil and these were the results obtained and uh, for our budget, the purchase and transportation of material will cost around 4,500. And the transportation and labor will cost around 4,000. Documentation and printing around 1,500, totaling to 10,000. This is our work schedule. And uh, so far, so good. We are on schedule. I think we are in October. And uh, we are in the, in the stage of collecting materials and analyzing and interpreting the results. And these are our references. Thank you. We welcome any questions. All right, thank you, Mohammed, for that. Eh? And uh, for, for you, I have no big issue with your presentation style. That one, I see you have improved per se. And uh, I, I don't know whether the other people have got some comments. So if you have comment and uh, or question and you're on, uh, on, on, uh, on, on YouTube, you can leave it in the chat section where you look at them. But uh, briefly, let me, let me start by, by saying, eh? that we are at the progress stage. Eh? So like in okay. methodology, you, you are showing us what will be done. And, uh, and I, the tenses that you are using were like, this will be done, this test will be done. So I, I thought that you don't have any results because, uh, because the tenses, they were saying like something to be done. But then when I come to, when you start presenting the result, I, I, I realized that you have already done some tests. Okay. So uh, don't, don't, uh, uh, don't make this uh, mistake of presenting this style when you are doing your project pro progress to the panel. Eh? So it's good to 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 mention like the, the tenses. You continue the way you are, I say now you start uh, revising your document eh? because now you have to start saying like the physical properties. Currently, what you'll be having in the progress yes. will be having the physical proper like the test which have been done. This one was done by this. You know the tense is past tense. Then there is the, the continuous, the present, and this is the ongoing work. And then, uh, of course, the part that have not been done, it remains uh, to be a uh, future tense. Eh? Okay? So just note that. Then uh, number two, you, you started off well with your slides where you are putting the slide numbers. But now when you come to slide from, I mean, I think literature review, uh, you stopped showing the slide numbers. They are very important for reference because if now I want to go to a certain slide number, it becomes difficult. Eh? Okay. Uh, are you getting me? Okay, not yet. Not yet. All right. Now let's go yeah, to yes, yes. slide number three. Slide number three. I, I believe it was a starting slide. The first slide or the yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you are presenting when you are presenting this slide, eh, can can you can you kind of try to present it? Okay. Yes. There is a way I found the animation because the flow you have oh, to the read it. yeah yeah like this eh? you see uh, when we are already seeing this yes. blank eh, this blank uh, white space. Eh, we, we are attracted. Yeah. You know, in your presentation, it means whatever you are showing, eh, you are trying to draw the attention of the of the reader or the viewer or the, the, the people attending and eh, the panelists and all that. So when you show this yeah. gap initially, our, our interest is drawn here so that whatever you are going to give on this side where you are describing, eh, it, we might not really get, um, get uh, the interest that you want us to, to have. So... Because you are showing us this later on, eh? it's better to remove that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that white image so that you just show the figure, the figure that you're going to show later on. Eh? Okay, okay, noted. Then uh, something about the flow. And this one, I noted that you have a big issue in your document. Eh? The flow, like this slide, flow from slide three to four. You say we talk about the, 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 the road essential 
And then you talk about the different layers of the load. And then this slide, eh? you just come and talk about black cotton soil. Think about it eh? in presenting. Think about the natural flow of, uh, of, uh, of a conversation when, when you are talking to people. Think about the natural fruit because some when you are talking with your friend, like uh, Mohammed, when you're talking to Isaac, eh, you don't tell them, like, uh, you know, this morning when I was coming, I found a car which was stored, which had stored on the road. And then you say, There is a cup that I left on the table. You know, there is the flow, the connection that tries to come into play. I'm not saying that uh, it's bad, eh, but what what it, it shows, especially in during your speaking, eh. It's like uh, there are different ideas that we are going to get them connected to as a head. But generally, for ease flow of somebody who is new to your work, huh, it's better to have that natural flow. You could have talked about the different layers, and then you say the materials that are used in different layers, or, you know, and then those materials, you mentioned about the soil, and you talk about the black totten soil being in uh, Abadan. It's, it's, it's available, availability in abundance. And in many places, it's cut, uh, cut to spoil. Yes. But sometimes it might not be necessary. So, so you start talking about the disadvantages of the black cotton soil. When you have talked about it, you have mentioned that the layers are made using different materials. And uh, for subgrade, because it's the formation, from the formation layer, we count the subgrade. Maybe there's the soil, the, 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 the black cotton soil is... Uh, is prevalent okay so that kind of natural flow and uh in that i would like to uh, kindly make me the host because i want to connect this with your document oh. i don't know whether you improved in your final signed document so now i'm the host eh? so i can share my no, just just a minute just a minute oh, okay okay if, if i know yeah i think now you're okay. the host so i can share the screen and then uh, I want to get to your document. Okay. So I don't know whether you can see this document. Eh? This is the last comment I made. I know I signed the other document, but uh, but I don't know whether you addressed these. Eh? Because there's something I had noted here. I said I always find most of your paragraphs having a disconnect. Yeah. This is an area you need to improve. Like now here you are talking about the infrastructure of the road, essentially in achieving the vision 2030. And then uh, all of a sudden, you have been talking about the roads that will help in the economic growth of a country. Then you jump to roads are constructed in four layers. Okay, okay, okay. The stability is greatly influenced by the subgrade layer and subbase layer as it's formed the foundation for the pavement. Then uh, you come to soil is one of the most abundant material. Uh, okay, that one, I think there is an improvement there. Let me see where else you had that. Oh, this was an improvement. There's an improvement there. So uh, naturally, there is a flow because this is a background information, background section. We want to get that connection. Somebody is being introduced to your work. Huh? So they, they really, you really have to hold their attention. You need to have to grasp their attention, right? But by ensuring there is a flow in your work. Read it out to yourself. Yeah? And then see whether it's, it's flowing. Okay, I, I hope this one you also improved where you are saying uh, you are having sent paragraphs having one sentence. It's not an accept yeah, it's not acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need to imp we improve on that. I don't know whether you improved on that. And then uh, and also misrepresenting your figures. Yeah. If a figure shows like figure two, you are saying it shows the figure two, you are saying it was showing what? Uh, it depicts concrete wastage volumes eh? or concrete volume wastages. You are saying that the concrete volume, there's nothing like that which was there. I think I explained that. Eh? And then about the reference to that. Okay, yeah. I was not there. But I just wanted you to note that uh, the issue of connection, connectivity. Then before we go to your slide, eh? because we are going to okay. uh, the background, the, the problem statement. Problem statement is you have already introduced a problem. By telling us or giving us a background information, we've already seen the flow, the bigger picture. So the problem statement section generally is stating, it's like a, a statement that you are making. That's why you call the problem statement. You are making a statement of the gap, of the problem that is existing. So that means 
generally we, this is not the area of introducing new review review eh? literature review not the section of introducing new materials yeah basically if this material is necessary for you to for a reader or for you to uh, be able to develop your problem statement then it's better placed in the background information and as i say this i'm talking also to all the other people in their work eh? build your problem you can even have a problem statement of one statement, one 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 phrase. If if it's a, if it, the problem was clearly defined in the preceding paragraph, but let me not go there because today I'm not looking so much in this document. Eh? Um, let's let's go back to to your work, eh? and I want to, yeah. Show us your presentation again so that we can finalize on that. That's just a point I noted. And I remembered it's important that you have it. Eh? Okay. okay. So you have talked about the connection, connectivity of your, between your slide. Uh, then slide number four. Yeah, this one. Eh? When you talk about the standard specification, uh, I, I believe it's good to specify which standard you are referring to. Eh? Because you may realize that different oh, standard, if it's um, ASTM, certain manual might have different requirement yeah. for CBR from what you have in the, 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 the road design manual, maybe part B, yeah, or road note nine. So it's good to specify which standard you are referring to. Eh? Yeah. Then, um, Then on literature review, okay, I found your literature review to be well done. Huh? And uh, of course, uh, that summary is what I was talking about. Huh? I just thought of a question that somebody may pose to you in the summary, of, summary in the summary section, summary of findings. Eh? Okay. So you are saying eh, the, the use of recycled uh, concrete. Uh, remember, oh, I had not even seen this. Remember, as we are not talking of recycled concrete specific, we are narrowing down to the fine aggregate because already we know cost aggregate have been have been uh, researched on. Eh? Yes, use yeah? so based. Note that. Note that. If you are talking of recycled concrete, look look for literature that are talking of recycled recycled concrete fine aggregate. Eh? Then you are saying the same has been used for the sub base. Okay. But they have been limited use for the subgrade. Eh? So uh, my, my question is, eh, which is the structurally structural importance? It means which one carries more wood, subgrade or subbase? I mean, which one is designed to higher strength? Subbase. Subbase. Yeah. So if a material is well performing in the subbase, what does it tell you, tell us if you want to use it in the subgrade? Huh? That, that, that's a question food for thought because somebody and especially people in highway engineering yes. and transportation they might find that interest uh, uh punching they might use that to punch holes on your work so that uh, it's found it, it makes your gap seem weak eh? okay. yeah okay i find the second one a bit okay you're saying they have been limited research on the use of the same on flexible Pavement. Because we know recycled concrete have been used in uh, for for making um, recycled concrete aggregate have been used for making concrete, right? Yes. But for yes. you, you want to incorporate it in uh, in uh, stabilizing of the soil. Pavements. Okay. The, for for using pavement. Of course, when you use the term flexible pavement, um, basically somebody may think that you you want to use bitumen. But for us, because the layer we are concerned about is subgrade. We, we are just talking about the soil stabilization. So it's better uh, make your gap strong from whatever you have reviewed. Eh? If okay. you can find a gap that talks of, have it been used in uh, stabilization of soil for subgrade? Yes. If it has been used, eh, that's where now you start getting your gap from. Eh? Narrowing that, down your gap from because I remember there's a paper you are talking of uh, a paper in China. I, I, I remember you are explaining yes. something. Yes. yes. And uh, whatever they did, if it was so close to your work, then that's where now the gap, because you want to really show you your gap doesn't have to be big. Okay. No, 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 just a small part, and especially now that this is a graduate work. Huh? 
narrow down. Let your gap be so clear, so distinct. Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't be worried whether it's be a big gap or a small gap, but that small area that you are, you are trying to address, that is what now will make people understand the, the importance or the significance of this work. Okay? So here, it's not badly off, but you can improve. Instead of talking of flexible pavement, try to narrow down on the, the subgrid layer, the soil stabilization. And now using the reference, and especially the latest literature, the one that have been really doing that work on that area. But I like the summary. The way you're doing the summary is, is, is pleasing. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Where I find uh, to have major issues, and this one is on, um, now this is where people have got interest because now this is the progress, huh? is on uh, your results. I know, I know you are still working on them, but uh, your, your result usually, mm -hmm. We never, we never present results and, uh, and by the way, you should have, because the previous slide was methodology, this slide should have a title, results, results, eh? Yeah, oh, because it's yeah, another yeah, chapter. Okay. It's not uh, chapter three, it's chapter yeah. four. Okay, yes. now, um, when you present results, eh, always, mm -hmm. you might not go to detail, but always explain them, right? Because now, how, what, how you have presented your result was, we found this to be the moisture content was 14%. Then we found the specific graphic to be like this. So, so what does it mean? Okay. Explaining the results is very important. You might not go to detail at this stage because I know you are progressing your, 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 your work. Huh? You are still uh, in progress stage, but at least you are two of you. Yeah. So one person, if he is uh, doing the analysis, let the other person try to get some... Uh, uh, meaning, scientific meaning to this result. Even saying, you might be doing some tests just to, to classify the, the, the material or you, because this characterization, or you might be doing some tests to, to check whether they qualify or they, achieve, they, 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 they attain their features or their, their attributes, they, they are according to a certain standard. If the moisture content is this 14.49, then we talk about uh, maybe the in the standard, what is the requirement? Yeah. yeah? Mention whether it's within the scale or not. So explain explaining your result, however small it might be, is very important. Okay. So in in a, in future presentation, let's not just say this is what I found, this is what I found. Okay, it's allowable at this stage, but at least try to give some 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 explanation. Like, can you go to the to the to the the slide on um, a gradation grading curve yeah this slide uh, even in analysis analysis wise eh, I'm wondering that we do don't we have the lower and upper limit it seems like yeah, we are yeah. yes no, we have, we have to you use need it. that we have to use it but we haven't reached that yeah yeah, and also when you do you that, yeah. and, and then when you do that, you need to explain when it falls within the the the, the limit, eh, what it, what that means, and if it's outside the limit, if even it's outside the limit, what needs to be done, right? Now, that that's one note about explaining in brief. Of course, as you continue developing your work, you explain in details. Number two, uh, this is what we call duplication of results. We never show table and then we show a graph of the same result, even in the document write-up, right? Even in your document, in your report, yeah. you show the graph, we prefer the graphs. You show the graphs, the tables, you put them in the appendix because they are describing or they are explaining the same results, okay? Yeah. okay. All right. Then uh, go back one, eh? somewhere in uh, this. Um, Unless where is it inevitable, we tabular presentation of data is not the best form of presentation. Yeah, using tables. We prefer charts, pie charts, bar graph, rhyme graphs, figures, but tables, eh? unless where it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Again, here, you are showing us um, a lot of your raw data here. Of course, it's good. Eh? Can you go back? Go back. 
Yeah, yeah. All these tables you are showing us, you are showing us um, the raw data. The, the raw data. It's, it's okay for me to see these, eh? but uh, I don't know. I don't want you to think that it's the best way to present. Eh? Because as we move ahead eh, towards the final presentation or the other progress that will be there for the awarding of marks or something like that, eh? uh, we, we don't want people to show people the, the the columns of the weight of team plus and these calculations okay okay yeah they, they, are, they are not necessary but for us here it's important but this one now uh, shows me something very interesting your results are based on two samples yes why we are starting with the neat black cotton soil and the neat uh, recycled fine concrete aggregate no, the that we are we are trying to achieve the first objective then uh we are going on to the next, second objective where we have uh, we have different ratios and uh, we mix them and the third one where we stabilize with either cement or lime so no no no, no no sorry sorry maybe you did not uh, get me clearly eh? i'm asking yeah okay. like now i can see you have two specimen one is the number 13 the other one is 24. Or to to get the average. The average. Yeah, no, uh, you know what? <laughs> if one of them is erroneous, let's say one of uh -huh. them, the team that team, eh, you, you you there is an error, uh -huh. and uh, the other one is the correct one. If you average the two, the result will be uh, chaotic. Yes. Usually, if you use the team, we, we team. use a minimum of three. Minimum. Oh, three. Minimum of three. Why? If one of them, if for example, let's say you are design, let's say, let's say because this is from the same sample, eh? and then you find the moisture content in one of them is fourteen point three three, another one is fourteen point six four, another one is thirty point seven, you will be able to question those results, right? Yes. And then by questioning, it means you might either think of conducting another confirmatory test. Or disregarding one of the results. But when you do the two, if one of them is 20 and the other one you get it as 10, you average that you get 15. But maybe the one was 10, the other one would have been 11, and the other one that had got 20 was the one that was uh, an arbitrary or, or erroneous. So for, for sci social scientists, usually they even do what we call um, the sample, sample sizing uh, uh, population from the population. And even in traffic engineering, they do that. But for us in structural engineering, sometimes we are lazy. We just take at least a minimum of three specimens. So make sure that all your work is based on a minimum of three specimens. Okay? You can do more than that. I have no problem. But minimum three. Then, then we have agreed that the presentation let it be in um, as much as possible in graphical form, not in tabular, where possible. Aha, uh -huh. finally, uh, show, show me the, uh -huh. there is somewhere you are talking about the, the MDD, you have the, the Proctor test, yeah. you've read yeah, done that, or you've read yeah. done that, huh? yeah. and uh, this, usually this is a very uh, standard, standard, test and the result presentation are very standard, the curve that is drawn. So that's why I was wondering, why did you opt for the top table even for this one? <laughs> you you know about that graph, the or MDD versus OMC? We can show you, we can show we can, you. We can, we can share the graph. Yeah, that is the, that is, if you have it, it's okay, but that is the one you should show in the presentation. Eh? Yeah, because I mean, that's kind of a standard. It's like now, if you show us the grading, grading uh, results, the, the sieve, sieve analysis test, if you show us in tabular form, people are used to graphs. Okay. Okay. Maybe because of time, I don't want us to go, ma, ma, uh, I mean, to spend more time on this. Eh? Mm -hmm. Something that you need to do is that uh, in the progress now, mm -hmm. I believe uh, no need to show the, the budget. Eh? Okay. okay. No need to show the budget. Uh, the progress is important. But the progress, the important progress is on um, showing us, explaining to us where you are, okay. what has been done, yeah. what is remaining. And in terms of 
even though you can this is what already we have this is a template and sometimes you may find like you are not following you are not your work is not flowing or following that maybe because of uh, some things here and there delay in acquisition of material or you have gone ahead but uh it helps you to track mm -hmm. your progress so the best would have been you can prepare another chart and uh, show us huh, for the objective number one huh, what you have achieved what is remaining and you can even give us in percentages in objective two you tell us what have been covered best you have done this test and so this percentage is, is covered so if you are doing five tests and you have covered uh, two, uh, two, so we can talk of uh, that being about 40% coverage, is it? Yes. Yeah. So that kind of uh, thing will help us, help you to really know your status eh, of your progress. Okay. So I expect, I'm seeing you're doing, you're having some good progress. That's commendable. So I'm expecting more improvement after a cycle of four weeks. Remember, after four weeks, you might be the one now to come back present, but I don't know whether by then, that's why I've said two presentations are the minimum so that we can finish early enough. Because maybe after, by the time we are going to second cycle, already the second, the presentation time have come. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, so far, what challenges are you having in this work? The main challenge is in the lab. So the apparatus are minimum. Oh, there are many students who are doing and the, the number of students doing the, doing the practicals. Are, yeah, so it's yeah. Uh, it's on a first come, first serve basis. So you have to. That's why you have some stages you can see us using two teams because the available teams are already used in by the other students. So you can get like you doing after test, you'll be having like two like two teams. So you can't you can't do so many tests the same day. You 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 won't tell me there are many students in the in the soils lab. I thought structures yeah. lab is done that with so many students. No, we have the power, the power students. Ah, okay. Wow, wow. Yes. Yes. But but you have also to play smart, eh? Yes. You exactly. have to play smart. As you go there early enough and then you book yourself there. Mm? Okay. Because uh if if for example you just find one, let's say you find one, just one mold, eh? You want to do the shrinkage yeah. test, and then you just do test with one specimen. And then you wait for it towards the end when you you are removing it from the oven, you want to go and test it, it falls down and crumbles. What do you do? Yeah. So you cannot minimize the number. The minimum at least let's remain with three. Okay. So you can even talk with the people in the lab and then see whether they can help you pass the ordinary hours. Okay. Saturdays, we on uh, on on evenings. Okay. That's how we used to operate there. Okay. So any other any yeah. question on your work? You are okay? Maybe uh, if uh, yeah, I think we are okay. Maybe if we use, we can either use cement or lime, whichever that uh, it's readily available for us. Is it okay, or uh, we have to stick to one? The two do, the, the, the two don't perform the same. They they are not the same material. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they are not. They are not. What did you propose to use for stabilization? Cement. 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 But we, we were wondering. Uh. For example, uh, we'll need to, we'll need to not uh, raise questions during the presentation. For example, they would have said uh, maybe you add about uh, cement in your title or something like that. Can I see your objectives? So you are you are suggesting to use cement because of objective three, yeah? Yes. Uh, do you expect these two to compare to com to compare well? Cement is a is a good material. You know, we are going to RFCA because of the cost reduction. Yeah? And again, and again, uh, for black cotton soil, the issue of uh, the, the expansivity, 
yeah, high PIs. Huh? So Lime would have been better, but anyway. I wonder what kind of result you uh, uh, and I mean anticipate to get from this. This, thing. but still you are at a very uh, you are at a far far you are far from the third objective because the first thing is eh, we see the performance using the recycled material. We see whether we can be able to stabilize that soil to attain the standard specific requirement, isn't it? Because yes, that is, yes, yes. we do not expect it to perform uh, the same as with cement. No, no, no. Yes. Cement is superior, right? Yeah. But if yes. we can, we want to stabilize to a point whereby we see whether, whether, it's not a must, but we want yes. to see whether we can be able to attain the minimum required standard. That's why you should be having a table. I don't know whether that's what you are showing us in slide number three. A table showing us like, what is the... What is the the the, the density? Uh, I mean, for the subgrade, eh? what the density, uh, the field density? What is the uh, the the CBR for the material to be used for? You know, you need to see that because that's our frame of reference. I think that one, the that one, we are just adding so that we because people wanted to see that three objectives. Eh? Yeah, so this okay, one, no problem. This one is okay. After you see the performance, then the the optimum the optimum uh, dosage, the optimum amount that you will have found for RFCA is the one that you're going out to compare with the cement. And then the, you can bring in the issue of the cost. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I believe that we have spent more than enough time with you. Yes. We need to move quickly to the other group. So the other group is Kidavi uh, Kimeri. Anytime you, if you have any query later on, we can also always consult. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. And, uh, Move Maybe I speed. can make uh, Kimeli and David. Uh, yeah, make them the host, host and and uh, I I hope they are around. Yeah, yeah, they are around. I mean, not on screen. Eh? You know, some we we just can't, some people just come and hang the coat and they disappear. Oh, now we can see you. So how is it going? We are good, sir. Okay, okay. So you have been made the host. Okay, share uh, let's share our screen. All right. Where are your other friends? I'm not seeing them. Hmm? Share your screen. Okay, uh, good. We can see your screen. So, we are going to give you the presentation time. It's good to practice early enough. Huh? So the presentation time, try to maintain it at five minutes. Okay. Let me note the title. Operative designs. I had an issue with this, but uh, first polymer, wood bridge with an all composite polymer deck and reinforced concrete deck. Okay, as we start, where are your names? You need to include the names? Yeah, they are here. Oh, they are not on the first slide, okay. Yeah. Put okay, you can, uh, you can start. <laughs> okay, so our title is Comparative Designs of a Fiber Enforced Polymer Footbridge with an All Composite Polymer Deck and a Reinforced Concrete Deck. And 
the presenters are Kida Vidal Sumbesi and my colleague Kimelia Manu and you are our supervisor Dr. Nastavi. That is our table of contents for today's presentation. And this is our background information. And fiber and post polymers are replacing traditional materials for ladders, bridges, and say cables. And we have uh, can be in bridge structures that can be used as hybrid bridge structures or all composite bridge structures. And these are some of the advantages of FRPs, lightweight bridge superstructure, ease of installation, large tolerance for environmental corrosion, long service life and maintenance costs at low. And weight reduction uh, leads to some, some of these advantages, such as better seismic resistance, ease of application, decrease in need for large foundations. And our project is focusing on glass fiber and post polymers. And they are classified as sustainable and ecological. That's why we are actually choosing them as our composites. But more problematical is the reduction of fiber of carbon fibers because of high energy requirements. So we are avoiding carbon fibers and choosing glass paper piece. And our problem statement is that there is a need to reduce the cell weight of the deck. There has been limited application of adhesive structural joints in use of FRP design in bridges, and the, there is a need to use materials that are less prone to environmental corrosion. And our problem justification the cell weight of FRP decks is approximately 20% of the concrete decks, and adhesives have high shear force transferring capacity. And FRPs exhibit a superior resistance to environmental degradation compared to traditional materials. <clears throat> and this is our main objective to compare the structural performance of the footbridge with a glass FRP deck to that of a purely reinforced concrete footbridge. And these are our specific objectives to determine the stress, deformation, and natural frequencies of the footbridges using Abacus finite element analysis. and compare the structural performance, size of the number sections, and the cost of the two foot bridges. And our limitations of the research is limitation of the knowledge of connections and lack of stance, official standards specifying the design of FRP composite structures. And our literature review, uh, all composite bridge structures are understood as bridges with superstructures exclusively of FRPs, and this was uh, such by Powell Bernard Portugala. And uh, although most bridge owners continue to make decisions based on low initial cost, uh, in moving forward, uh, in, in the near future, more money will be spent maintaining existing bridge structures. So FRPs are now coming in as a uh, replacement uh, for better construction. Then, this the summary of the literature review. In format whereby under Valbona Mara in 2011, titled uh, in this title, the use of FRPs in bridges reduces cell weight of decks to 20% of the concrete decks, and this is tied to our problem statement, and followed by uniform and the others. Uh, structures made of conventional materials uh, are prone to Corrosion. And then Clark J. J. L. Chapman, uh, the use of bolted connections leads in most of the cases to a large oversizing of the components. And for our summary, there have been a few cases of FRP applications in all composite with mid construction. There has been wide application of mechanical connections over these connections between the bridge deck and the others. And my colleague will continue from the so to methodology, we are going to do design, and these are the manuals that we're going to use and the design codes. Uh, the design, and after the design step, our first step was to, to do architectural drawings and modelings. Then the second phase should be analysis. Third phase is uh, structural design and detailing, and the last phase is comparison. And these are the softwares that we're going to use. And this is the design flowchart, the architectural drawings, modeling, analysis, detailing, and the comparison. So to the results, we are on our first phase of design, and that is a design of the production of the 
architectural drawings, and uh, this is uh, the concrete footbridge deck. Uh, we have a problem with the layout because of the scaling, but uh, the, 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 the drawings you're seeing on your screen are the architectural drawings elevations of uh, the reinforced concrete deck footbridge uh, from two west and east of the elevations. And this is a footbridge plan. Uh, we, are, we chose to do a bridge of uh, 4,000 by 30,000 millimeter. And then we had a height of 5,000 meters, the clearance, the head clearance of the bridge. So this is, a, this is the footbridge plan. Uh, these are our references. Uh, this is our work plan. This is our budget. And thank you for our presentation. OK. Uh, well, any progress is a good progress. But uh, <laughs> first, about the progress with your work. Huh? Yes, sir. I've seen you have only done uh, two litres. Okay, this is the this is the third week, eh? yes, but still, how, how do you feel about the progress, the rate of your progress? Oh, we have been a bit slow because uh, we the previously we had uh, for architecture role we wanted to use Revit, but mm. we've not been uh, well acclimatized to it. We had uh, previously known uh, to use uh, Archicad. Mm. So we are trying to now acclimatize with Revit. Yeah, you, you know when you tell us you're going to do something, eh? yeah. Yeah, the ball is on your side, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and I comment this, eh? yeah. in as much as it might not fit very well for research, eh? yeah. because uh, whatever you are telling us, you're going to investigate, maybe when you come to the end, you are just doing a design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when you learn uh, Revit, Revit is, is uh, one of the, the, the trends, you know? So what you need to do is you need to spend more time with it at night, evening, yeah? Stop going to student center. So <laughs> stick more with, uh, with running Revit. It's more important. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that now you can be able to move with speed because um, the, the speed, uh, you're, 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 we need to start seeing your result early enough so that we can start seeing whether you're going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's the purpose of these progress meetings, okay. so that we do not delay and towards the end. And towards the end, know, know that there are a lot of noise. The one you're in fifth year, towards the end, you get very tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you have covered the journey of five years and uh, done 81 units, you are tired. So if you put <laughs> everything towards the 10th, 11th week, yeah. you might not produce something good. Yeah. Then yeah. also, if they are uh, towards the end, there are exams. Okay. Yes. So we should like, especially your work, huh? because I know we might have a lot of um, changes. Design comes with changes and modification. Right? So by mm -hmm. fifth week or by the mid of the semester, by sixth week, you should have kind of gone to us. Uh, I mean, covered what you want to do so that it will be now improving and discussing uh, the results. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, this, whatever you have shown us, eh? It's yeah. it's not good for presentation, eh? The scale, the scale is it, it's not good. It's not good. I yes. don't know what you need to do about that, but uh, it's not very good. Eh? So okay. improve on that. Yeah. Then um, remove the budget. Okay. Then uh, what else? Show us the progress in terms of the objectives. Yes, I have told the after the previous group. Yes. Then improve on the quality of your presentation. Uh, if you go to methodology, yeah, methodology, go to the next one. Mm -hmm, next, next. These are the kind of presentation you want. The previous slide number 18, 19. But when I was looking at your introduction background information and you remember that is the that is the, the, the introduction to your work people you either get people there or you lose them yes, but okay. in the background uh, your slides are so busy hmm? okay you need to really improve i i hope you have followed how how muhammad and isaac have done their work eh? yes, yes. so yeah. in the background you really need to improve okay let's let's just go back back back, back to the starter eh? 
So the note, the big note that I made was first improve on the quality of your presentation. Yes. Like now in the slide number one, when you're saying fiber and phosphorus have replaced traditional materials for gardens, bridge deck, and stake trade, there's nothing. Why do you have to write all these? These are things that you can speak out. You just need to have keywords. Yeah, you need to have keywords. And again, we say that when you when you show us a, a, a graphic, be it a figure, a table, a photo, you have to mention what is it. Eh? So like this one, I can read there and I was very, I mean, it's an interesting thing. Eh? But you didn't say anything about it. Okay. Okay. So you need to do that. So improve, first of all, remove these full sentences. Unless we are necessary, okay, like uh, in, in objectives. So these full sentences, because here, of course, you have a photo, it's not, it doesn't seem so busy. But remember at the back of your mind, if you train yourself to write using these full sentences, go to the next slide, you see what happens. No, not even the next slide, eh? the, the literature review. I found someone in the literature review. This. This is just a paragraph that seems like have been cut from uh, from a document and then pasted here. This is not a good presentation style, right? Okay. So you really need to summarize and then remove this. Remove slide now thirteen. This is how we said uh, slide fourteen. Slide fourteen. This is how we said the literature review to be done. Okay. Whatever in the, in your document you can have the theoretical and explain about it. And in the presentation, you can mention about the theory if, if you feel like it's a new thing, it's a new concept that people need to understand. But whatever will help you build, you know, you have limited time during presentation. So the empirical or previous studies work, that is the theory, that, that is the review that is very important. Yeah. And uh, here I was wondering, the first order, because by the time, by the way, you arrange them like this, you have read that paper, you have summarized like this, and now you can see I can, I can, very quickly point out an error or a, uh, yeah. something not clear. Because you're saying, for example, the first uh, order, the first uh, reference, mm -hmm. you're saying uh, Mara in 2011, and the research gap you're talking about is that use of FRP composite in bridges reduced self weight by 20%. So how is that a gap? And this quorum, this quorum is not the gap. This is the, the critique. Okay. The critique. This is the, like... Uh, what is lacking in that research. I mean, lacking in terms of what you anticipate to do in your work. It's like you are preparing us. Like, we read this paper. Yes, we know that this has been done ABCD, but you say from this work, this is what has been lacking. But in your case here, you say the use of FRP, there is with reduction by 20%. I don't see how that is a critique. I don't even see how that is a gap because that's a positive thing, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yes. Yes, but this quorum is not of the positives. If you want to have uh, to tell us what they found, eh, you can have another quorum. And I believe Mohammed did that. They had four columns. They had the author, the title, then they had the findings, summary findings, then they talked about that, the critic. Okay. Because what we are saying is the purpose of having this or reviewing the literature is that you want to build your gap when you come to the summary. So you want to tell us who, who did what. What did they find in a summative form? And then what is lacking from that area? What you believe can be done to improve their research? But remember, nobody does research entirely. Even those very senior people, even those, uh, even if now you take the paper of Einstein, if he was alive, he doesn't cover everything. So you can always find something inside there to be done. It all depends with our level of, uh, of, of uh, readership, how much you have read. Eh? Yeah. Okay. So improve on this and then remove slide 13. Slide 13, let it be in the in the book, but not okay. here. Okay. Then um, can you go to the next slide? This summary is built up from the review that you have done, eh? and it has to be tied with your problem statements, remember. Okay. Yeah. So once you improve the literature review section, then this one should be made more clear. Because I'm trying to imagine, eh? Yes. What what exactly? What exactly do you want to do in your work? You are saying, in my belief, is that you are saying 
there have been few cases. There's an FRP or composite footbridge, right? They are there. But those composite footbridge, eh? Yes, what yes. is what is it that they are not doing that you want to do? The use of now aversive bondings. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I'm seeing it there, but I wanted it to come out from you. Oh. You should you should say when you're explaining, ah yeah, few cases of FRP application, you know, for all composite foot breach. And by saying this, we assume that we have seen that from like the figure in the introduction. Eh? I think yes, it was yes. all composite, the, the deck. Eh? Then you say. Most most of these or um, most of these uh, FRP uh, bridges, eh, the the connection, maybe they use use bolted connections. Yes. In your case, you either say they have been limited or they have been no usage of adhesive. Yeah. That's your investigation. Yeah. So you see, your research is on joints connections, but as I'm saying, you are doing something very broad. You are just doing you are doing design overall design. This research of yours eh, yes. could have been more clear if you are just concentrating on the connection. But then I realized you may, because it's kind of you are doing your training eh, on usage yeah. of software. Eh? They yeah. just do the whole, the whole structure. And then uh, you see how it performs in terms of uh, the structural performance in terms of the deflection. Yes. Yeah. And you see, this is the case now whereby the comparison that you'd be doing should be between the existing footbridge mm -hmm. okay. and the footbridge with connection. Because uh, when the comparison you are doing here, the title, your title, you are comparing FRP footbridge and uh, reinforced concrete footbridge. Yes. But when we come to whatever is in literature, I mean, not literature, whatever the, your gap is, what you have revealed, you are trying to show us the issue of the connections. Yeah. So kind of your title is so broad, then you kind of realized when you narrowed down that I want to settle down on this particular aspect. So your work might have not even been necessary to do the issue of concrete tech. Unless... Yes you change your problem statement, you talk about the cost aspect. But mm -hmm. the cost aspect, I believe, you might have realized it had been done by a, few, a number of people. Yeah. 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 Okay? So that's why now in your, 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 your title is kind of, it have, it's a miss from your problem statement. The problem you are addressing and the title. Yeah. There's oh, a yeah. disconnect. Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll improve on that. Because generally we should be talking about the connection. The way now you have explained from the problem statement. Okay, yeah. now go back to the background because the, the whole of the background has to be changed. I see the background you are talking of. Yeah, FRP. Producing the FRP themselves. Mm -hmm. Then go next. You, yeah, 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 this is what I found. You have talked so much about the, this. This is the theoretical literature. We should be in the in the literature section, chapter two. Okay. I mean, for presentation purposes, people know about the advantages of FRP. You have you have limited time, so showing what is not helping people understand the problem, the research. The, the significance of the research. This was important, or this was significant for the people who are investigating FRP initially. But now we already know this. So this remove it, remove this here. Go oh, to the next God. slide. And I found that uh, you are putting this as a title, advantages of FRP. Remember this is chapter one, is introduction. What are the headings do we have in the introduction? Can, can you go back backward to your content, the page that you're showing the content you're going to present? You see, you have the background information, problem statement, justification objective. These are the only titles that you should be having on top of your slides. Wow. Why? Because the others are subheadings. 
So there is a, a lot of uh, improvement that is required here. Can you move, uh, can you go to where you are? So first of all, remove this light. This is not important. This can be kept. And actually this should be more or less be in the theoretical literature review in the chapter two. Okay. Yes, you can mention, you can mention in summary, in summary form in the background so that people know why FRP. So go to the next slide. I believe the same thing. This also need to be removed. If you want to mention about the advantage of FRP, I believe you can do so in a summary of a small table. Okay, if, if you feel that you need to talk about the weight reduction and all that. Yeah. Again, when you explain all this, how are they helping you build your problem statement? And you know from your problem, that's where you get the objectives. So there's a, a lot of disconnect between your, the materials you are presenting, your title, your problem statement, and what you are going to discuss in the results. Okay, so also this should go. Go to the next slide. The same case, this one should go. You, you, this one, if you want to talk about the glass fiber and all that, let them go to the chapter two in the document, not here. So the background, you see the problem statement. You're saying there's a need to reduce the safe weight of the deck. Yeah. There has been limited application of the adhesive structural joint in the use of FRP bridges in, in, in FRP design in design of bridges. Yeah. Need to use materials less prone to environmental degradation. Hmm? I understand the second one to be the one that is connected to your problem that you're investigating. Yeah. The second one is the more like the main statement. Mm. Problem. Then the third is related to the mechanical joints because the problem with mechanical joints is now uh, susceptible to degradation. Oh, corrosion, the, the steel bolt. Huh? But, yeah. And uh, remember, these days we have FRP boards. Yeah, I believe some of them are still at investigation. So, okay, uh, it also depends. It all depends on how you are going to explain it. Eh? Okay. But note that what is so, uh, my, I mean, um, key to your research should come out more, okay. should be prominent, eh? should feature oh. significantly more than the other. Okay. Because when you say there is need to reduce the safe weight of the deck. Eh? Then somebody yeah. understand why you are doing concrete. You are comparing concrete and FRP. And then they will just say that's known. That is in common domain, right? Yes. I right, move to the next. The self weight of her is a 20, uh-huh. So, so you're saying you're the self weight is approximately 20%. So you're saying that's why you just were using FRP, yeah? Yeah, but do we have any any contention about the lightweight of the? I mean, like your researcher. Eh? Yeah. Are Are you somewhere trying to compare between the FRP, uh, the the concrete deck, and the? Uh, I'm thinking whether it's too late to drop that part of concrete because when you look at it, eh? Yes. You see, your work is on the connections. So, whatever you should be designing is FRV bridge with a steel connection or steel bolting. Yeah. And another one with adhesive. I think that's where should be the comparison coming. Yeah, okay. Uh, the issue yeah. of the concrete decking, nobody have got a problem with that. We know the concrete decking will be heavier. And uh, the, the discussion of your results might be problematic. Yeah, true. Okay. Because initially we had actually the first uh, statement was actually where the general idea behind the project was mm. first. The issue about weight, weight reduction. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's why we had put it actually in the title. Yeah, yes, wait. Eh? Yes, I'm saying it's okay, wait, but. When you talk about the weight of concrete deck and the weight of uh, FRP, yeah, uh, I believe from review literature there that already has been done. Yeah, I exactly. believe that there's no question about that. Yes, 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 yes. And if you had you had uh, put that so prominently, and somebody was in, so much interested in your work, 
he would just have pointed out that we know FRP, they, they, they help us in reduction of uh, the, the self weight of the structure. Yeah. That's why they are popular. And the issue of self weight, uh, they have a high stiffness, that kind of stuff. Huh? Yeah. But now that um, we are understanding your work and you continue understanding your work, do you still believe the issue of the concrete deck is important now? Because it will, it will limit you from doing you what is important in your work. Yeah, yeah. True. The time you spend designing that concrete deck and all that, doing what is already known, would have been spent more on concentrating on the connections. Yeah, true, true. Okay, so that yeah. now here you can narrow down from the structural performance, and then you can come and cut a section because you are doing a. Um, you're doing a, using the software. Eh? You can be able to show the, the now in discussing your results, eh? when you want to show the stresses or the, 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 the stresses that can be, or the load that can be carried by different joints. Eh? Yes. So you can be able to cut sections and then you show between the bolted connection and the other one you show with the adhesives. Now you yeah. can show like uh, you can, you can do a pull, pull test, a test, a test, and then you can be able to show the, how the load versus allocation occurred. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that is better. So I believe one thing that needs to change, can you go to the title? Okay. I believe the title should not be cast on stone. Eh? Yeah. So yeah. comparative design of fiber and source polymer foot bridge with, now this will be the issue of with a bolted connection and the other one with adhesive. Yeah. So all the part with a normal composite polymer deck and a reinforced concrete that should go. Yeah, true. So that now you are doing comparative design of RFP footbridge mm -hmm. with yeah. with bolted connection yeah. and yeah. adhesive. Yeah. Okay. So that now even in your literature review, you change in your background information, you talk much. Can you go down? Because now when you remove all what I have said, you remove with the background. You yeah. need to have more information telling us our problem. So now here, you can build, this is a very good area of starting. You have studied a very good example. Here. You're saying, FRP traditional material used ABCD, amount of vibrator, then you show us this. Then say, if you can get this figure or another figure, you say yeah. the connection, the typical connection that I used are still, still, bolt. still bolt, uh, bolt. And then even if you find where they're using FRP bolt, you say FRP, FRP bolt, because I know the rabbi was in Japan, there was a student, there was, my supervisor actually, he's in steel and the FRP. So the, his students who are doing research in FRP bolts. Okay. So it's still at the investigation. Yeah. And also you talk of maybe the FRP bolt because of the cost, you are looking at the alternative. So your background information, your, your literature review or your, the background information that will bring us to the problem statement, build data from this slide. The next slide talk about, look at the papers or the people who have talked about the type of connections. Okay. Yeah. So because now what you'll be investigating will be before failure occurs, eh? yeah. what is the maximum like deflection? What is the maximum moment that can be carried? That is for the overall structure. And yeah. per structural element, now you can cut a section at the support where you have the bolt or the adhesive. You can mm -hmm. start talking of the body. And there is a lot of reading here. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that you, you might not have been taught in class about the FRPs. Eh? Yeah. So I believe that is that is that will make your work clear. And then uh, when you come to the problem statement. The problem statement, the number two will be the last. I have no problem with you starting and saying that it's need to reduce the self weight of the deck. And you okay. say, or you can say FRP, FRP material have been used to reduce the self weight of the deck. Yeah. Then you say FRP bridges, the connection, the typical connection or the common connection is ABCD. Yeah. Then you can talk of uh, the steel, that is the degradation due to corrosion. Yeah. But then finally, you can summarize with saying there is a need. They have been limited application of adhesive structural joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that now that flow comes into play. You have started with the FRP and all that. That's the flow that we have. Even when you make this statement that you are putting them here together, let them know, let them, they are statement years, eh? but let them not be a lack of the flow. 
Yeah. Let them show the leader. The leader Canada is like a trickle down effect. Okay. I don't know whether you guys are for the bottom up or for the middle out or whatever. <laughs> but here for us, we are top down. Eh? Yeah. Like the way you are talking in survey from the whole to part. So let it, and this is not only here, even in your background information, like the way I was explaining to Mohammed. Yeah. It should come down, broader picture, narrow down until now we get to the specific issue that we are addressing. That's why I'm seeing the second statement to be, it can be a very strong statement when it's the last one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then when you move now, some now we have understood what you want to do. Then you move to the uh, problem. Uh, no, the justification. Of course, the justification. You also have to. Of course, yeah, it's okay. You Probably. justify that use of FRP deck reduced by twenty percent is okay. Yeah. Then adhesive for five year. That's a justification. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now you see when you go to FRP exhibit the superior descent to environmental degradation, again yeah. the flow breaks, it breaks the flow. Yeah. Because that one could be, have been like at the start, why we are in FRP. Yeah. So FRP, it's kind of in the first statement. FRP reduction in, in weight as well as the issue of environmental degradation. degradation. Now, yeah. yeah, then the issue of this and all that. So yeah. rearrange them. Then yeah. the objectives eh, will we change. Have we we'll have to change this. Yes. Then the specific objective. Yeah. If you be able to do it, eh? Yes. The issue of the cost can become the objective three, eh? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm wondering how you'll be able to do the costing mode, but it's good. You have studied the uh, costing bill of quantities. Yeah, you. you just have to check in the internet. You see the typical range. It doesn't have to be the exact. Okay. And you can do that. Okay. So, so once you change it, huh? okay, continue. Once you change this, the the title and the background, you you'll find like now you are yeah, you are no. your work have become refined. You might even see, like in the specific objective, there's something that you can streamline. Exactly. Because for now, for now, I don't want to fix them so much. Eh? Yeah. But my thinking is in terms of having objective for the overall structure. I mean, for yeah. for like the stress deformation, and yeah. also having a certain objective for the joint. For, for joint yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then the issue of the cost would be the number three. Those you have a lot of work. And that's why I want to say this. Eh? Yeah. In the limitation. In the limitation. Yeah. It was limitation before, but now it should not be limitation. Have you gone there? I want you to go to a limitation slide. You are saying there is limitation of knowledge and connection. You need to read this. Yeah. Yes? Okay. You need to read. This is not beyond your your control. <laughs> yeah, your, your your brain, the capacity is unlimited. This yeah. is not beyond. There is something that's like you are saying lack of official standards specifying. If if that's there, they are, they are not there. That's beyond your control. That's a limitation, right? But yeah. in terms of knowledge, I don't know. Knowledge is available. You just need to spend more time on this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then can you go to? Oh, we are, we talked about the literature review. Yeah. How you are going to uh, address that? We said the slide number, I think 13, you remove it, and then we have just the empirical. So we'll have to readjust up to the methodology. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but I believe now you are starting to see to see the clarity yeah. in your work. That's why when I was reading it, because now when we are reading, when you send the document, I'm reading, I was reading eight documents, and they, you also have, want them to be signed. So I was kind of not quite understand this topic. It was not very clear. But now, because the purpose of this presentation progressed, because yeah. now you are, we are just two presentations, my mind is still fresh. So that we can be able to see where which one is not working, which one is not necessary. Okay. Yeah, they, they did, they did. Mm. Yeah. Then another thing I always uh, say, yeah, fighting with the student, eh? this, mm -hmm. the issue of, uh, you see the word knowledge and connections, 
Yeah, you may see like I'm being petty, but <laughs> it, you have to be careful. I find people like in a, in a table of content, they are not consistent. The subheading, if you choose to abbreviate, I mean to, to capitalize the the all the words, yeah, then you have to be considered like that. But here you cannot because this is a statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, why does the one knowledge have capital letter and connection? What is so unique about it? Sure, sure. Okay. 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 Before I I leave this slide because I wanted to see what you had done in your document. Eh? What 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 do you think about this work? Uh, how much? What was the question I want to ask? Eh? Or according to the progress you have made? Eh? Yes. How far can you say you have gone and uh, to get to get the rest? How long do you think it will take? Okay, we had a big challenge on mm. the, the, the exact direction we should go. Mm. So we were tied between the design, the connection. Concrete. You mm. don't know how to, whether to do concrete, whether to go to FRP and build the connection alone. We really needed to identify the exact path we should follow. Mm. And with that now, it is. I think we now have streamlined thoughts. Okay, so, okay. We now have to sit down, readjust this, so that we, we now work uh, in a straightforward manner because we are up and about. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we, we had a very big challenge. So now you'll be able to move with speed, eh? Ah, yeah. we, will, we, will, we will have to move with speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we really needed this kind of a presentation and to open up our minds because there was a lot in our minds. We don't know where to go, what to deal with. Mm -hmm. what to omit, what not to, because actually we had literature on the connections, mm -hmm. but we chose to eliminate because we thought we should we should stick to the, the concrete, comparison. the comparison aspect of the deck and the concrete and the FRP. While we had... We uh, remember, had, remember there is this thing, eh? yeah. your work can have two components. Okay. Okay? Yeah. If, and uh, I would advise you choose the one you feel easier. Yeah. If if you, you want to, to compare about the issue of adhesives and bolted connection, stick with that. Yeah, and yeah, in that yeah. case, remain with FRP only. Forget about concrete deck. Yeah, but yeah. if you want to compare about the weight, eh, forget about the connection. Use the standard connection. Then compare between the, the uh, concrete deck and the all composite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now to do that part, eh, you have to show us that from past studies, eh, mm -hmm. there's not been done. Yeah, it's not been done. Uh, but yes. that would be so obvious. So we'd, we'd rather go to the mechanical joints, stick, the, with, the stick with the connections. Yes. Yeah. What I know is that for comparing between the, just a structural design, comparing between the concrete deck and the FRP deck, it would have been easier on you. But now here, it means you have to gain more knowledge on connection. You have to read. Yeah, yeah, and also I I hope you know what is lying ahead of you because you have to know how to model different types of joint in terms of especially the adhesives. You have to know the different types of material properties that you have to use the, the material model, what you call the constitutive relation. Yeah, and I don't know which software you have said you are going to use FRP. I mean you are going to use Abacus. Yeah. I don't know how far you are good with Abacus, and and also. Where you're going to get that abacus, whether you have already gotten the the license, license version. Because the, the student version, you'll be limited with the number of months. Yeah, the result will be so for us. The student version. Yeah? We were currently, I currently have the student version. The student version with that just 1,000 nodes, eh? yeah? Yeah. You might not be able to, to get very good results. It's good for practice. Like now we use it with four years. But yeah. For the, if you know Dr. Fundi, okay. you can talk to him because his PhD, he used the Abacus software. Yeah. Okay. We can also try, I have access for Abacus from Japan, but I realized that working online, mm -hmm. sometimes it's so difficult. You might not be able to, comp uh, to achieve that. I can request whether you can use it, but yeah, our internet connection and the connection there, it might be very difficult for you. So some people, but this one I'm not telling you officially, there are people who are using crack fashions. Eh? Yeah. 
<laughs> but but you can talk with food and also there is a there's a, one of my students in Pau, he's called Michael. You may find him in the lab, structures lab. He's also oh. using abacus. And oh, I think yeah. they have already gotten a way out of how they are going to do it. You can try to talk with them. Oh, Michael, huh? Yeah, Michael Mwonga. He's in uh he's he's in power. I think he's he's doing his experiments now. Hmm? Okay, we'll get in time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh before we leave this slide, do you have any question? And oh, okay, our time is far much gone. I wanted us to go up to nine at uh, ten. Any question now? Uh with regards to modeling, mm. I think we'll have to do a lot. Yes. We've been following your tutorials on YouTube and uh at least we, we have a clue of what should happen, but now when it comes to connection, because you are just modeling members and seeing how they default the deformations. But now that, that is the first stage. That is okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's the first stage. That's okay. That's when you have to do. Okay. Connection, eh? Yeah. Oh, you are saying now to model the connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to model those bolts and model those uh, the, the adhesive joints. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to work over them. Mm. So let us just go work on that, acquire the softwares, and uh, see what we can do as fast as we can because time is not on our side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you make me the host? I want to see. Maybe there might be, have been a comment in your document. Okay. Maybe quickly in about two minutes, then before we can uh, finalize on this. Okay. Now you just need to click my 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 you can see my image eh? yeah. where there is a mute eh? the, the three dots you click there. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, okay, it's okay. Okay. So let's see where was your work, huh? Mm -hmm. Eight, nine. I believe it's this one. Mm, there are no comments here. Oh, this is the one that I was I signed, eh? so I had removed the comment. Eh? Yeah. Or your document, I I put com com comment in the hard copy. No, there is the there is the one you sent. He sent you, and then you there is the one you also made comments on it. Oh, this one. This one was date six. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Consistency. Today I'm not on the form. I want us to see the content. It was about uh, empirical literature and theoretical literature. Oh, you also had the problem with the one sentence paragraphs, eh? Yeah. So this 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 document also will change, eh? It has to change. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I had an issue here. So I was saying the problem not clear. Yeah. The audience may not understand clearly what is the problem that you have. Yeah. 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 I had an issue. I, I I myself could not understand it quite well. Yeah. Then I was saying you be specific what you are comparing. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, these I said they were just activities. Yeah. Now the objectives are changed. I hope you change this to to be the way they are in your doc in your presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially these viewers, yeah. 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 Yeah, all those are removed. Yeah, you see, you had a lot of uh, theoretical literature that did not address any of the specific objectives. Yeah. Remember, right now, you, you are in uh, literature, I mean, you are in FRP. You can just get uh, some literature in the internet and copy and put it here. And then you have a document of 100 pages. I know as a student, you want to have a big document <laughs> uh, so that when you graduate, you can show people what you did. but <laughs> it has any content? Is it relevant? Yeah. Yeah. So, like in Japan, in our university, they limited the uh, undergraduate students the to maximum of twenty two pages. Your final document. Yeah. So, yeah, there was a lot of uh, need that you needed to do. On summarized theoretical literature. Uh, additionally, you have not included empirical. Yeah, empirical is very important. Past work. Mm. Also include a summary and research gap. Yeah. As you could do the chapter. Yeah. Then a lot of this was reviewed in the final document. Oh, you reviewed, eh? Yeah. And I was looking at whether there was a content, any content in not the form. The form I know you have changed, but in terms of content, eh? Yeah. This is another FRP bridge, eh? Yeah. Ah, you have literature on joint. Yeah, yeah, we had we had to remove this now in the final document because we felt like we should now eliminate a lot of the relevant literature and include them. Yes, I was because there was nothing on the joint in your objectives. Yeah, so it yeah. was relevant. Yeah. I did not mention anything about this design flowchart. Uh, we removed. You we, said we removed. We eliminated it. Yeah. From the final document. It's, it's good for presentation. But not for a document. Even if you have to put it, you have to discuss it something. You say the design flow that will be followed in this work is oh, yeah. shown in this figure. So according to this schedule, you are saying you are in week two, eh? Yeah. Uh, okay, this one was for the first semester as well. Oh, semester one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the other one is in the, the presentation. Yeah. Another thing, eh? Yes. This document, so that you do not forget, eh? Yeah. Like now we have met, you should uh, highlight yeah. something. This you should keep something there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that uh, towards the end of the semester, you are not cooking things. Okay, we can stop there unless if you have any query. And I can see the people online, they don't have any issues. Eh? Uh, I don't know whether they really appear. Tell everyone that attending this is mandatory because we are improving the work for all. Right? Yeah, yeah, true. The comment that I have made today, uh, as much as possible, in as much as that we are not comparing you with somebody else, but at least I should not get them in the those people who are going to present next week. There should be an improvement. Eh? Yeah, at the same time, next week we expect people to give more results. The, the second group should give more, more results as opposed to what we have now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any okay. question from Mohammed, from anyone in around here? Okay. So if you guys are okay, I'll also say I'm okay. Uh, thank you for that. At least we have covered it in in one and a half hours, as yeah. I had anticipated. And I was thinking, now that you people were able to join early now, so maybe next time we might start at 8, eh? or maybe 8 or 5. Okay. okay, continue improving on your work. 
Thank you. You really helped us. Yeah, you try these first weeks of the semester before it becomes very busy. Yeah. Okay. So, All the best in your okay, okay. Uh -huh. I had a question. Yes. Now that we really want have to fine tune this, mm. should we still stick on design or we just do analysis? You you don't do design without analysis first. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't do design without an what I don't want you to spend much time on is on the on the architectural stuff and all that. Eh? Oh yeah. 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 And then uh, because even in your objectives, eh, the revised objectives, architecture yeah. is not there. Because initially you had said you are going to develop a architecture, blah blah. Yeah. But uh, we'll be interested. These are like the obvious. As you show us the layout, eh? We are not concerned where it was prepared in architecture or I mean in ACCAD or whatever. Yeah. We are interested in the results that you're going to discuss. Because your work, another area that you are you have to be careful is that what type of results are you going to present? Yeah. The design, the analysis has to come into play, the design has to be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we edit that there. Yeah. So have a good day. Have a good day.